Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber coming back at you with another beer. Who would have thought? This is Idle Hands. It is their farmhouse, Rustic Pale Ale. 5.6% alcohol by volume. It was canned on July 13th, 2022. It is September 29th, 2022. So... What is that? Seven, two and a half months old. <clears throat> uh, Sean from Nerd Sense gave this to me at Beer Tuber Palooza. So thank you, Sean. Uh, Sean from Nerd Sense. Did I say that? Notes of stone fruit and pepper. Uh, brewed with a mix of new and old world techniques and ingredients, resulting in an intriguing combination of stone and tropical fruit notes with a dry, peppery finish. I'll be the judge of that. <sighs> that looks like it could be a rustic pale ale. It does have it does have a little bit of like a farmhousey vibe. Do it. Farmhouse you say is on there. Uh, slightly hazy. But it's definitely, you can definitely uh, see through it. That is, that is like three fingers of a nice, man, that head looks solid. It swirled around a little bit, but that thing looks like it is not going anywhere. Um, Looks like uh like it just looks like a fucking wad of cotton on top of the top of the beer. But yeah. Looks like it's got a nice carbonation too. Let's see what it smells like. Ooh. I'm getting a lot of that peppery thing. Uh, nice maltiness, really nice. Um, there's a nice fruitiness in there. Citrusy. It's citrusy, but it comes across like, uh, like it could be considered tropical. Like I think there are some tropical fruits that, I mean, I don't, I don't know if lemons and or limes tropical. I don't know. But uh, like there's kind of like a star fruit vibe and like a little bit of that in there. And so what I'm getting would could could be considered tropical. Ooh. Just got a little bit of like um like a bubblegum thing. A little bit of like um uh like a, it remind the smell reminds me of like bubble tape or or big league chew, the kind of gum that has like the powdered sugar stuff on it. Yeah, but that peppery thing, it 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 does come across kind of like Far, I don't, I don't know. It says rustic pale ale, so I was expecting. It's called farmhouse. It's a rustic pale ale, so I was kind of expecting a pale ale, but I don't know if they did they use like a farmhouse yeast in this or, or saison yeast or something. I don't know. Let's see. Thank you, Sean. Cheers. Oh yeah. Yeah. It is, it is farmhousey. Ooh, but it is spicy. A little spicy, a little bit. And by spicy, I mean like, there's like a peppery kind of, um, maybe rye spicy kind of thing, maybe.
definitely getting that citrus thing. Citrus definitely leaning like tropical -y citrus kind of thing. Yeah. That pepper thing is kind of cool. It is kind of cool. But yeah, you get farm farmhouse vibes, a little bit of a little bit of wet, maybe not wet. Uh but a little bit of that straw hay thing. Yeah, but I don't know if that's coming from the east or the mall. Hmm. Maybe a little bit of both. Maybe neither. Maybe it's just in there. Maybe it's just magically appeared. Kind of not what I was expecting, but also... I really enjoyed it. I don't know if I'm specifically getting stone fruit in here or what I would identify as stone fruit, but <clears throat> there is a sweetness that pops up every once in a while. That is really nice. I like this. This is good. This is good beer. That's why I like Sean, because he gives me good beer. That's why I like most of the uh, people that I associate with in the beer tuber world because they give me good beer and they appreciate when I give them good beer and we all appreciate good beer. Finish is slightly dry, not, <clears throat> not, does it say slightly dry? It says a, with a dry peppery finish. Based on that, I, I thought it was going to be way drier, but it is not. So yeah, out of hands. I haven't had a lot from them. Basically, the only beers I've had from them are ones that Sean has given me. But I have enjoyed everything that I've had from them. So. So, yeah. Um, I think that's it. I hope you are all doing well. And taking care of yourselves and taking care of each other. You can like this video if you'd like to. Subscribe to the channel if you had not already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93lumber. Oh. That is spelled out. 93lumber. And we'll I just got that, that burp just gave me some uh did just give me some like stove fruit vibes. Definitely like some like ripe ripe peach definitely, but uh, a little bit of like maybe like not dried apricot, like fresh apricot, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thanks, y'all.